Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And today we are on the green server, on the level 31 Enchanter. Adjusting the mic. About to hit 32, so I wanted to show y'all my 32 ding. It's not a new camp or anything, we're doing the fairies, but we're going to get two kills for the price of one. And I've refined this camp a little bit, so I can add some information. It's not just uh, rehashing old camps. But, you know, hey, it's EverQuest. You gotta do the same camp sometimes, but since there's new information and I'm about to ding, I wanted to show y'all this. And it's still not foolproof. Princess Jolina gets in the way. It's not, you know, a foolproof camp, but you can you can get two kills for the price of one, and I've made it faster, um, where you can kill constantly, pretty much. You can make it a dad camp if you want. I'm sitting right here um, against the edge of the zone up on a hill, and um, nothing will attack me here. I'm sitting right here up on the hill. Nothing ever comes up here. You can sit here all you want and wait for things to um, pop that you want to, you know, kill. So you can make this like a <clears throat> 10 minutes of AFK time if you wanted to. Something like that. I think the fairies spawn every like 15 minutes and then, um, uh, what's his face, gear, gear, whatever, spawns uh, every 6 minutes. So that's why you can make it uh, faster. But yeah, let's uh, get into this. I'm going to... I'm all buffed up here. The one thing that could happen is... <clears throat> what I think is happening. So, we've gone over this before. Sometimes all the fairies will come. And you just have to run to miss more and hope you live. And, you know, 50-50 shot that you make it. But it doesn't always happen. And there's ways to make it to where it doesn't happen as much. If you... If the fairy... Okay, so, anyway. Let me show you if you haven't seen this before. I'm a dark elf, by the way, right now, and that kind of, that's, that seems to make more trouble for me for some reason. Like things attack me more out here, but I want it's it's for y'all to see, see. So if I wasn't um, recording a video, I'd probably just be in gnome form. But you guys have seen this before. If you haven't, though, what I do is this is the fairy camp, so we can look at it. We're invisible. Um, this fairy guard right here is the one I like to charm. Fairy guard right there, and then. Gearheart will come a-running. Old Sniff comes a-running. So, all you do is charm this fairy guard, and only Gearheart will come a-running. And then you come over here, and you, you know, root Gearheart, you have the fairy guard fight uh, Gearheart, and then you kill both of them, get experience for both of them. After you go invisible, make sure it's not your pet anymore, make sure that damage is wiped out. It's uh, enchanter charm killing. Um... You have another one over here by itself. I haven't made use of it yet, but I'm, I'm sure there's a way we can make use of that. But for my second kill, Gearheart will spawn in six minutes, which is just enough time for you to get your mana back and all that. And then over here, you can do the same thing with this fairy guard, except for it's a little more complicated. You have to calm this one. You definitely have to calm Princess Jolina. And then if you do it right, and you charm this fairy guard, Gearheart will come running. You can do the same thing on this side. So you go back and forth on both sides, and you're targeting basically Gearheart with the charmed fairy guard, and then you kill both of them. Um, the problem is when Princess Jolina is up, it seems that sometimes the whole camp will come a-running when you charm a fairy guard. And the way I've uh, made that happen less is I'll calm Princess Jolina, and then you got to kind of watch and make sure no fairies are casting on each other. I think that's what's happening. There were some theories out there like, uh, oh, maybe certain fairy guards are higher level than others. Maybe fairies are higher level than others. It's all It all has to do with Princess Jolina for sure. Like, when she's not up, it never happens. And she's not up all the time. She's on, like, a timer. She's only up at nighttime or only up at daytime. I need to figure that out. If somebody knows, let me know. It seems like she's up. 75% of the day, though. It's not just nighttime or just daytime. But she does go away. She will despawn, and a fairy guard will be in her spot. But right now, of course, she's up. But that's good, because we get to show this. But um, I usually go with this fairy guard first, because it's much easier. Over here. That's my main target. This is the one, if I'm doing a dad camp, I'll just do this one. Kill Gearheart, get two kills. You know, go AFK for 15 minutes, and then come back. But, um... I think what's happening is, like, a fairy will end up casting on Princess Jolina, or they're casting on each other, and then I'm just hitting the fairy guard with the charm at the wrong time, and then when fairy go uh, when uh, Gearheart takes off running, you know, the fact that they're casting on each other messes up my, my camp here. So, let's target Princess Jolina, if we can. 
Na, 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 can't get her. And then there's other enemies that walk through the camp that can have an effect on it, too. You gotta be careful. Pretty careful. It's a good camp if... Oh, he's gonna see me. I'm just invisible. I don't know. He's probably too low level, but... Alright, we got Princess Jolina. We're gonna go... I'm gonna go way over here, actually, because this is more towards Mistmore, and if I have to take off running, I wanna be... If you have to take off running, just run to the wall over here, this way, and then follow the wall, the wall on your right hand side. And uh, you really gotta be, <laughs> like, booking it. Don't mess up at all, and you can make it. And towards the end, when you're turning into Mistmore, you gotta be, like, a wide turn, because they'll go through the wall. But let's try to calm her. I'm gonna try to calm her from as far away as possible. Just in case I have to turn around and run. I want to make sure I don't have any, like, silver or copper. Make sure you got strength on, all that, so you can run as fast as, as you can. And then if you do have to run to miss more, try to get a sew while you're in there. It would be great. Uh, but let's try to calm her. Princess Jolina. Where'd she go? Why is she on, not targeted? All right. And when she's not up, this is so much easier. You don't have to do all this crap. But right now, it's worth it, though. I feel like it's still worth it. All right, let's, let's get as far away as we can. Alright. She'll resist, but... Of course she's casting. She looks less aggressive. Okay, so I think it worked. I don't know... Isn't there a way you can tell? Like, I don't know if it actually took because she's still ready to attack. I don't know if that's... I forget how you tell. I'm not... Remember, I'm only level 31. I'm not a level 60 enchanter that's been playing for years and years and years, so... But... We got her calmed. So I'm going to try to pull this. And if the whole camp comes, take off running. Is this thing attacking me? Are you kidding me? I got all gone. I got... I just beat it up. Alright, anyway. So if, if this goes right, and I always make sure I double check I got this fairy guard and not a different one. Okay. If this goes right, then... Only Gearheart will come. And we once again want to be as far away as possible. Kind of check your six before you do this, you know. Make sure there's not a skeleton or another fairy pathing through. And then we uh, charm that fairy guard. Which I want to be as far away as possible. That should be good. And then you want them to not be casting on each other. And look, it worked. Princess Jolina is up. You know what I mean? So, it's not just that she's up. You can still make it happen when she's up. Alright, Gearheart, we need to get rooted as soon as possible. Maybe toshed. So the Fairy Guard can hit them more reliably. And then you pretty much just sit here and watch them fight. I'm like up against a tree. And you kind of check on, like, who's winning. So right now, it looks like the Fairy Guard is winning. Usually, Gearheart will win. Um, so it looks like a pretty good fight. And if, if it's going, like, one person's winning too much... Like, if Gearheart's winning too much, you hit him with a spell. Like, direct damage. And if the Fairy Guard is winning too much, you uh, make it sit. Now let's uh, root him again, just to make sure he's rooted. It looks like a pretty even fight at the moment, which is great doesn't always happen but we should get two kills for the price of one sometimes it doesn't work out but other times it will so you kind of wait till they're super low but not too low and then you break you know you tell her to quit attacking and so let's root gear heart i kind of need her to sit she's like a little bit too much we don't want her to kill him either so come on get over here get over here dummy all right, good. Guard. Okay, we have to break her first. So, Gearheart, we want to root. Just while we do this, because we're going to have to be dealing with this guard for a second. All right, now we target ourselves. We invis. We target the fairy guard. We get on stun. Here she comes. Let's stun her. The game is lagging, of course. All right, she's stunned. And then we hit her with the Chaos Flux. And she's dead. And the game is lagging. Alright, Gearheart's over there. I'm going to root him again. I could probably just beat him with my stick, but I'm going to just blam him down. Boom shakalaka. Two kills for the price of one. Look at that mana right now. So I could go do this. I, 
I could do something right now if I wanted to. Well, close, you know. Look at all the man all the uh, experience I got, too. Because I got full experience for both of those. So I just need to do that one more time and I'll level. Let's destroy this crap. Boom. And they're dead. So what I would do now is I would hang out up on the hill over here. Right by that tree. Right there. I would hang out, out there, up there, get my mana back, wait for Gearheart to spawn again. And I'm sure you could do other things. You could probably charm one of these two fairy guards, take it over here and fight this one if you really wanted to. But it's only six minutes, and you can do the Gearheart thing again. So what we're going to do next, after we wait for Gearheart to respawn, is we're going to calm this fairy guard, calm Princess Jolina, and then charm this fairy guard, and Gearheart will come a-running... And we'll do the same thing again. So let's get up on the hill and meditate. And this is how you can make it more active. Like, we could just sit here and do the, what we just did over and over and over and, and, and go AFK for like 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, wait for that specific fairy guard to respawn if we wanted to. But I'm trying to make it more active. And um, I figured it out. And, you know, a little a couple of the nuances of the camp as far as why the entire camp comes sometimes. I think I've figured it out. And what I think it has to do with is the fairies casting on each other while you're charming the fairy guard. You know, you have to calm Princess Jolina. She's just a fly in the ointment. You know what I mean? So we, when she's up, it's just you have to pay extra attention and do extra things when Princess Jolina's up. So you got to get her calmed, and you got to make sure... Like, no fairies are casting on each other when you charm your, your fairy guard after all your ca uh, calming is done. So, uh, and even even then, like, something could be walking through the camp that screws everything up. Like, a fairy could be floating through the camp that's just a, a roamer. Anything could happen, but if if everything goes right, then you'll what, what we just did will be what happens. And you'll get two kills for the price of one, and uh, you can do that every six minutes, so... I think it's pretty cool. There's not very much loot. There's no good loot, but it's really good experience. And, um, you know, there's a quest with Princess Jolina, so you might want to check and make sure you don't want to, like, ruin your faction with the fairies. It's up to you. Um, I decided I don't care. This is a good camp. I want to... I could probably get to level... I don't know, man. I could probably get to my next spell level on this camp, I would say. Probably. So I'm relatively sure we're going to be able to get through the whole next level at this camp. And then, can we get through uh, 33 as well? I'm pretty sure. I, I bet we're, we'll be able to get to our next spell level. Just at this camp. So, wanted to show you guys that. Let's um, take a little pause, and I'll come back when I'm ready to uh, go again. Alright, he's back already, which is good. And our other fairy's not up yet, so we're coming over here to do these fairies. And we want to calm... You know, they're going to cast some spells. Like, he just spawned, so they're probably going to cast spells on each other for a second. So you might want to wait for a second. But while they're doing that, you can calm them. So let's, we got to calm... This, for some reason, this fairy guard will come if you charm this one. Even though it looks like it's super far away. I've tried it before. I'm pretty sure it comes. So I'm going to go ahead and calm that one. Probably should get... Let's play it safe. Just in case a critical resist happens. Let's get way back. All right, looks less aggressive. Now we got to do Jolina. Get way back. Now look, make sure we know where our wall is. And if I'm doing stuff wrong, you know, you can let me know in the comments. If you do it nicely, then I'll definitely appreciate it. Um, I think I have a global cooldown. I haven't played this in a while, so I probably should have been doing that. But All right, we're a little bit too far. 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 There we go. Interrupted. Alright, got her. And, okay, so we got both of them. I don't know why the music changed, if you heard that. So we got both of them now. We just want to make sure they're not casting on each other when we do this. So once again, we're going to get as far away as possible. Go check our six. It's got We got like three minutes on that comm, right? So make sure everything's going smooth. And we will charm this one. And here we go. It worked. So happy. Get by your wall. And have that guard attack Gearheart. What's going on? 
Uh, I didn't target Gearheart. I'm stupid. All right, anyway. Let's get over here. We got a root. Let's see if this works. Come on, stupid. Everything wants to go wrong, remember, when you're about to level. So it does work. Sweet. So let's toss them, too. And we'll get far away. And we'll kind of just sit here. You don't even really need to sit, but... Watch the fight, see who's winning. Looks like the Fairy Guard's winning right now, kind of, by a little bit. Like I said, Gearheart seems to win more than the Fairy Guard. Of course, you could slow or speed and yada yada, but feels like the fights are even enough. I don't have to do any of that, and I'll just blast them if I need to. The worst, like, if, um... Gearheart wins and you and your and your pet dies, you can still uh, kill Gearheart. It's fine. If your pet wins and Gearheart dies, you can still unpet and kill your pet, and it's not that big of a deal. It just sucks because you don't get as much uh, experience for it. We I mean, root a Gearheart. You're pretty even. Pretty even. Looks like Gearheart's losing a little bit, so let's have the guard, fairy guard sit couple times looking pretty good <clears throat> it's a root gear heart okay looking good looking good just gotta be ready to back it off come on baby all right come here okay guard it gear heart root it we don't want him running off while we're doing this. Alright, uh, fairy guard, or er, ourself. And Viz. Target the fairy guard. Get ready to global cooldown. Global cooldown, stun. Global cooldown, chaos flux. Global cooldown. I'll just beat it. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but... Gearheart's almost dead anyway. Okay. Now Gearheart. Root. Just in case. And blast. Ding-a-ling. Ah, gotta love it. <clears throat> no good loot or anything, but it's okay. Yeah. We gotta, we'll, get a, we'll stack up fairy wings. We'll get a little bit of... It's not like nothing. There's some quest items that drop off of them if you want to look into those quests, like a black box and some fairy stuff. But we just got to wait six minutes and um, do it again. And I'll show you all maybe one or two more times. I'm not trying to make this super long. Um, where's my spot at? It's like right there. Okay. I'm not trying to make this super long, but let's get like two more. Let's do it like two more times. I'll show you both of them one more time. And hopefully it all goes smoothly. Alright, y'all. It's back. Gearheart's back. So let's do it again. Hopefully it works out. You know, I'm not 100% confident every time I do this. I'm ready to run pretty much every time. But uh, we got Princess Jolina in our crosshairs. Let me know what y'all want to see in the comments. I just happen to be doing this. I've been playing a little bit more. Not like a lot, but a little bit more than usual. So I was doing this, and I just figured you guys might want to see it now that it's all refined. But we got to calm Princess Jolina. We want to be as far away as possible. Our other fairy is up. Our gear heart's up. So let's get far away. Get Jolina. I'm a level higher. It should not resist, but... You know how this game goes. Alright, looks less aggressive. I don't know why I con, but I do. Okay, she's less aggressive. Let's go over here. You know, look around, look the area look around the area, make sure nothing's pathing through. As we come over here. Alright, we got our fairy guard. And all we gotta do is freaking charm it while they're not casting on each other. I think. See, that one's casting right now. We don't want to charm. There's a fairy going through the place. Maybe not now. Alright, I don't see any of them casting. Let's hope this works. No! No! Why? There was no reason! 
All right, well, you get to see this. Which is not fun. I'm just strafe running. They're fighting my fairy guard. Hopefully it survives for a little bit to get let me get some distance, because they can root. Ah. Uh, I just leveled, you know. Oh, it's already dead. Great. Well, time to lose my level. We'll see. You don't want to, like, end up brushing up against anything. Like, any little thing is going to screw you. You think you would gate, I guess, but I don't know. This is what I do. <sighs> it's kind of appropriate. You know, see what happens if the worst case scenario. It's quite a run. And then, like, the end of it is tricky. Because they can go through the wall. And then there's, like, a little bend here. You don't want to be, like... Kind of got to cut it off. Once you see the little fairy ring or the fake druid ring, that's when you want to kind of take a wide. Like, I'm going to switch strafe run. Hopefully that fairy drake doesn't attack me. Kind of want to take a wide turn here. I feel like otherwise they go through the wall. You know, you hope nobody's here. I don't really have time to be shouting. Ooh, you hear that? You could hear something right there if you heard it. But we made it. It's okay. No big deal. No big deal. I mean, that'll happen here and there. Now we can look for a sow in here, and everything will get better. So I'll see if I can find a sow. And off I can offer clarity for sow. There's a 27 ranger. Do they have sow yet? Let's get on in Viz. I do not know why that happened, y'all. So I don't know if my theory's correct or not, because I feel like nobody was casting on anybody. Murgal, does he have so yet? Let's see. I gotta get my other keyboard. I don't think they... I don't know if he does, though. It's, he might be not high enough level. I'll just give him clarity either way. I forget when rangers get it. Dang. Oh, well. I guess I'll still give it. That was close, though. So I guess I'll pause, y'all, and we'll go back and try again. I'm actually kind of glad that happened, you know, because maybe y'all can help me figure it out. I don't know. Because, like, I'll go and do that again with the same mobs and it won't happen. So it's not like, uh, I don't think the level range is what's mattering. Because I've had it happen before where the whole camp will come, I will immediately go back, do it again like a dummy, and it don't happen the next time. So... I figured they were casting on each other or something, or something was wandering through the camp, but I just can't figure this out. It's not a big deal. I don't feel like it's a big deal. I've only, you know, watched me die on this very next pool, but I feel like I've only died, like, once or twice here. It's not crazy. Um, it is a lot of time. Like, you might want to bind yourself right here. Like, I'm considering binding myself right where I'm at right now. That way I can gate back after I run to Mistmore. But, um, I mean, why, why would I not bind right here? So, let me do that right now. In case I gotta do that again. Because I'm never gonna gate. I, mean, I don't think I'll have time to gate. So. I just run to miss more. But hey. Maybe you can figure something out that's better than that. You seem to have enough time while they're fighting your fairy guard to get a little bit of a jump on them. And then if you strafe run. You know, I've been rooted before and I had to stun the whole freaking camp. and But I still made it. Like, I've had the whole camp right on my heels. And I uh, got rooted, and then they were all beating on me. I had my rune on, of course. But I had enough time to, like, stun the whole crowd and then 
the root wore off and I ran to the zone. Like, I was right there by the uh, fake druid circle. I was pretty close when that happened. Like, they're not going to catch up to you until you're close to Mistmore. If you're doing it right. If you're scared of this camp, I get it. I thought it'd be interesting to show. Especially since that happened. That's funny. Anyway, I don't even have all my buffs on, but I'm being impatient. That annoys me when that happens. <sighs> Let's try again. I don't know what else to do. Maybe it's a fairy hatchling going through. I am not sure. Princess Jolena is up for so long, too. Like, I don't understand her either. Like, on the wiki, it says she's like a rare spawn. But then she's always up, like, all the time. How rare is that? If she's always up all the time. That's not rare. Let's calm Princess Jolena. And she resisted! She resisted at level 32. There we go. Alright, we got her. Oh, the one's dead, so now I have to do this side. No problem. I don't know if I've ever had this side screw up. It's always the other side. Hmm. Comes a giant spider through the freaking camp. Nice. Okay, that's less aggressive. I think that's everything I need. But now I gotta wait for this dumb spider because I don't want it, anything to screw anything up. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna get as far away as possible. This side's a little safer too because you're closer to miss more. Um, let's double check I'm on the right one. Alright, got it. Back way up. And charm. Come on, baby. Okay, it works. See? See what I mean? Even though that was a different fairy. I've had the exact same fairy. You know what I mean? I'm an idiot. Let's get him. Where'd they go? Oh. Man, I'm screwing stuff up here. Gearheart. Root. Gearheart. Tosh. There's pretty much the same fairies in that camp right now. Like, you know what I mean? I don't get it. Okay, who's winning? Looks like Gearheart's crushing face. And that will happen sometimes. So I'm gonna go ahead and blast them and reroute as we did direct damage man he is crushing this thing it's not good blast again he's crushing her face in okay that should be okay I'm gonna make her sit if she's too far ahead but I don't think so I think it's gonna be close one Root gear heart. That's probably good. Guard. Gear heart. Root. Okay, he's rooted. We target ourselves. Invis. Target the fairy. Global cooldown. And it ran away, which is fine. Dead. Full experience. Gear heart. Root. Just in case. And blast. Double the pleasure, double the fun. Pretty big chunk. You know, we are on the next level. So that would probably be, what? Five of them for a bub? So every 30 minutes you get a bub, something like that. Every hour you get like two bubs. Is that good? Got a whole bunch of stuff off of that one. I wish that fairy would have survived so I could show you that it just... It could be the same exact fairies and two different outcomes when you... It's weird. So I get it if you don't want to do it, which is better for me. I mean, I'm showing you a camp that 
this is always a problem with being a content creator is i'm showing you a camp i'm doing literally right now so you're gonna a couple people could come and do the camp which i'm not here all the time i'm only here every once in a while so i don't really care to share but um you know but i'll pause and we'll try to do one more kill since we had that little runaway uh i want to get one more show you that it does work we've done three kills which six kills total three times it's worked three times it didn't work one time so 75 percent of the time so far let's go for a uh, 80 percent or whatever hey y'all while i'm thinking about it shout out to ben alvis uh sorry if i get the names a little bit wrong like lisa for example i think your name on youtube is lj and then ben alvis i'm sorry if i'm saying your name wrong it kind of just shows your email that you use when you leave a comment i know that's probably gonna make some people not want to comment anymore but um just being completely honest uh the only name that it shows me is the uh, like your email name so for example i don't want to say lisa's name again because i just said it 50 times in the last like three videos but um you know shout out to ben you know who you are um for the super thanks helps a ton keeps me going you guys know how it is um that's the perfect way to keep a channel going if you love a channel and you feel like they're not getting enough love that's a perfect way to, to go about it and keep the channel going, keep them happy, keep them making videos and content. I know it probably sounds a little crazy, but that's like the simplest way. Uh, no. So appreciate it, Ben. Uh, thank you for the super thanks. Helps a ton. Shout out to Ben. Let's go check if this thing's up while I'm on here. Might as well. Um, I rebuffed. And let's see what happens this time. It's exciting. It wouldn't be exciting if it was just a camp that would be super easy and it would just you know it's gonna go perfect every time right so our fairy's up is gear hard up gear hard yes he's up all right so let's uh calm jolina you know we don't probably don't have to do it from way over here if you don't want to but i feel like this is closer to mist more just in case all right so this is the trouble fairy even though it's the easier one to actually charm when jolena's not up because you don't have to do any calming but yeah i don't know why this entire camp runs I'm, somebody figure it out for me please and i don't i don't know you know because i feel like i've done the exact same I've tried the exact same and it, it worked the next time like i ran all the way to the zone after they after it didn't work I came back to the exact same thing and it worked and you could probably say well how's that possible your pet probably died I don't, I don't know I feel like I did though all right I don't know if they're casting I don't think so man you're so far away you can't really tell though all right see look at that fine I gotta get gear heart I don't really want him knocking my thing off all right. Root them. Toss them. Take a seat. And who's winning? Looks like the guard's doing pretty good this time. It's like, how many spells did the guard land? How many spells does the guard land is how, like, how the fight's going to go. If it gets interrupted every single time, then of course Gearheart's gonna whip its butt. And right now it looks like the freaking fairy's whipping butt. I might have to have it sit soon. Let's root Gearheart first. And then we'll have the fairy sit, like, once. Now it looks more even to me. Sit again. It was casting. Did I interrupt it by sitting it? Sit! Oh! Alright, we better let him go. Uh-oh. I might have... Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Guard. Gearheart. Get rooted. Okay. Al Bundy. Go and viz. Why did my global cooldown not go off? That's cool. I'm lagging or something. There we go. 
Fairy guard, get smashed. Get out of here. All right, Gearheart, get rooted. Bubble cool down. Chaos Flux. And he's still alive. Okay. Get rooted. Chaos Flux. If you want to save mana, you can go up and beat his face in if you want to, but I know I'm going to be sitting for at least five minutes, so it's fine. And how much do we got? Not bad, almost half a bub. I'm telling you, it's like, you do that five times, you're going to get a bub. And you can do it every six minutes, so in, in my mind, that means every 30 minutes, you can get a bubble. You could probably get to 32 in how long? Two and a half hours of this? Not even like, you're not sitting here just frying your brain constantly with constant action. You just get a couple kills, sit. Go AFK for five minutes, get a couple kills, sit, go AFK for five minutes, get a couple kills, sit, go AFK for five minutes. No, it's not that bad. It's super chill. The only bad part is the anxiety of the whole camp chasing you. But if you can get over that. So I guess I would uh, recommend binding right here if you can. That way when you run to mist more, you can just gate back. You'll probably beat them back too. Uh, you're going to have to wait for them to settle back down. But yeah, I don't know. Should I do one more, or should, should that be it? I think we've shown... I almost have my buffer, for real. Hmm. Eh, let's do one more. Okay, let's try to get this last kill. Let's get this buffer. We've been able to make this happen five out of six times. Uh, or four out of five. Is that right? Four out of five. So can we make it five out of six, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, can we make it five out of six times? Or will they come a-chasing me, and that'll be the end of the video, me dying and losing my level. Either way, it'll be entertaining, so I don't care. They're all casting on each other right now. Let's calm this fairy guard. Let's get back here. And calm. Alright, less aggressive. Let's look around a little bit, make sure nothing's uh, being stupid. Let's get Princess Jolina. Back as far... They're, they're casting right now. That's that's, good. that's a great sign. Alright, we got her too. Now we gotta charm this one. I almost want to be closer, but, you know, you gotta run. So I don't know. It's like the closer you are, the more you can see them casting. And the further you are, the safer you are. So, I don't know. I guess I'll get far away. Come on, baby, let's go. Get it. See, look at that. Five out of six. What are you doing casting like that? Thank you. She rooted them for me, but I'll do it too. And... Toss them. And I guess take a seat. I don't even really need to sit, but... It might be dangerous to sit. Stuff. Like oh man, he's crushing her face in. Got mad at that root. All right, now they're more even. Well, I don't know. It's kind of crushing her still. Wow. All right, Gearheart, you freak. Hope I didn't overdo it. Looks fine. All right, I'm just gonna stand here. All right, Gearheart, get a couple hits in. There you go. All right, Fairy, hit him. All right, cool. Come on, come on. Thank you. All right, stay there. Your heart. Get rooted. Get rooted. Thank you, sir. Al Bundy. Back up a little bit. And Viz. Target the fairy. Global cooldown. And do this. Color shift. Cool. Got her. And blow her up. Boom. Get out of here. Your heart. Your turn, buddy. Root. Global cooldown. Chaos Flux. Ooh, perfect. Let's get our loot. Check our experience. And that'll be it for today. We made it happen five out of six times. I think I'm going to walk off the stage after my joke. Look at that. 
That's pretty good, I feel. Not bad. Just that one little mishap. Is this my spot? I think it is. Yeah, right here. So I don't know. Am I going to sit here and do some more kills, or am I going to just end it there and post the video? Probably just post the video. But that's it for today. Shout out to Ben. Um, you know, what do you guys want to see next? Um, you know, we got exploring Valius going on. I can always go to that whenever I can't think of anything. I was just happy. I was happening to be doing this, and I wanted to level, and I wanted to show you guys the level and hear the ding. It's always nice to hear a ding and, and gain a level in this game, so I figured I would record it. And I thought I'd figured this camp out. And I guess I got a little bit more info for you, but if you can let me know in the comments why is that happening when it happens like that, one out of six times, the entire camp comes, and I don't, nothing's changed, nothing's different. You can go straight back and do the same exact thing, and it'll work. So my theory is they're casting on each other somewhere, and I'm not seeing it, and that's messing it up. If that's not a thing, let me know. I'm, I'm like, I'm not, I don't get mad if you guys tell me I'm wrong. I don't know everything about this game. I don't think anybody knows everything about this game. So, I don't know. Is something pathing through and I don't see it? Is something casting and I don't see it? That's the only things I can think of because anything else doesn't make sense when you can come right back and do the same exact thing and they don't all come. So, I don't know. And then you could say, well, your your pet died and it's a little bit different, but I swear, to, I swear, I've come straight back and done the same exact thing. Like, I, the, the pet didn't die somehow. Like, it, I charmed it, right? And they started fighting it. I was running. And then, like, charm broke or something like that. Because I remember, I was like, okay, this will be awesome. I'll get to see. Like, will it happen again? And then I run back. I do the same exact thing. The same exact fairies are up. The entire camp, nothing died. Same levels. Same everything. I do the same exact thing that I did before when they all came a-running. All sniff come a-running. And it didn't that time. Like, it worked fine. So, I don't know what is going on. I feel like somewhere in the back of the camp somewhere, some fairies casting on Princess Jolina or something while I hit the one with the with the charm. That's all I can think of. Or a fairy's, like, flying through the back of the camp and I don't see it. Or something like that. Just bad timing, basically. Because you saw me do it five out of six times. And only one out of six did it screw up. So, I still think that's worth it. And um, it's up to you, though. And if you don't like it, cool with me. I'll just keep doing it. I'll have it all to myself. If you do like it, by all means, I'm not here all the time, so come uh, get some chunks of experience and get the uh, two kills for one. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your girl about the channel. Comment below. Comment below what you want to see next. Shaman, Enchanter, Wizard, uh, Necro exploring Valius, Necro in Crystal Caverns, um, Necro just in another Kale or Thurgodan or... Yeah, we can go wherever in Valius that we haven't been yet. Um, as far as that goes... I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to see every single zone in Valius. We're just going to do as much as we can and then go from there. And then, of course, in the back of my head, I'm going to want to check those off. Like with Kunark, we never went to every single zone, but I'm hoping to eventually and just add to that playlist. Like, I can always add to it later. So, you know, if you think, oh, he's not going to go to this zone, so I don't uh, Well, I mean, I might eventually, but, you know, somebody mentioned Plane of Mischief, I think, and... I've seen people solo there, so I'm, you know, I think I could maybe do it one day once I get a big buffer and kind of watch some people do it. Um, they said it's the hardest part is just getting in there. But yeah, I plan on doing as much as I can. So, but I'm not guaranteeing that I'm gonna sh go straight through Valius and do every single zone back to back to back and finish the whole playlist as soon as possible. Like it might take a while. Like with Kunark, I'm gonna, I still have to go back and do uh, Howling Stones and and Shardok and. Some of the harder zones, so... And I think even think I missed a couple of normal zones. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm just talking now. Have a good one. You're the best. Every single freaking Wednesday. Uh, what's the word? Let's say copper. Or no, 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 no. We gotta put something cool in the chat, in the comments. Hmm. Just put, man, that was crazy. Let's just say, man, that was crazy. Put that in the comments if you uh, listen the whole way through, and then I'll know uh, you listen the whole way through if you put, man, that was crazy, in the comments. Thank you so much. Peace out.